Very good morning to you, beloveds. God bless you. I truly hope you had a lovely week uh, and that you and your families are, are well in the Lord this morning. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your faithfulness, uh, your commitment uh, towards the this program of the church, the online services. I know many of you um, are not attending the face-to-face, -face, uh, but thank you for making use of this platform. Because you need to feed yourself spiritually this morning. Hallelujah. Before we get into the word, I just want to um, pray God's presence this morning. The presence of the Holy Spirit to be uh, with us. Amen. To help me uh, to minister this morning. Hallelujah. I also need the, the presence of God. Hallelujah. Through His Holy Spirit as I minister to you. Also that the, the Holy Spirit will be the after preacher of his word this morning. Amen. Jesus said uh, before he ascended that I'll leave you the Holy Spirit who will teach you regarding all things. Amen. Uh, the Bible for many of many people it is a mystery. Many mysteries in the Bible. But the Holy Spirit is there to unlock uh, decode, decipher those mysteries this morning. Hallelujah. And these things, the Bible says, have been revealed to us, uh, the children of God. Hallelujah. God reveals these things to those who belong to Him, who are part of the fold, who are part of His kingdom this morning. Let's pray. Father, I thank You this morning for Your presence. I thank You for Your Word. Thank You this morning, O God, that You are with us. You are the great Emmanuel, God, with us this morning, O oh God. Father, I pray, Lord, even as I uh, speak this morning, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will transform, Lord, my words uh, into powerful uh, messages, Lord, uh, transformation, words that will bring transformation change, that will bring, Lord, salvation to people. In the name of Jesus that I pray, amen and amen. Saints of God, uh, thank you once more. Uh, the year is drawing to a close. And this morning we need more of God's word. Because nobody is certain how 2021 will be. Hallelujah. And we need to, to pray now already. We need to invest in our prayers, uh, in our devotions unto God now. Amen. So that whatever comes that we will be ready. Amen. Because God has us secured in His powerful hands. Amen. Today's word uh, uh, speaks about Jesus who is the true vine. Amen. And uh, He says that we are His branches. Amen. The word is found in the book of John chapter 15 verse 1 to 7. And I just want to read with you this morning. Amen. Uh, for those of you that has Bibles, please read. With me, John chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. Hallelujah. Uh, it's Jesus speaking. He says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be, that it will be, that would, it will even bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you uh, bear fruit unless you remain in me. Words of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am the vine and you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him. You will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, is like a, a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown uh, in the fire and, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you can ask whatever you wish. And it will be given unto you. God bless the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Saints, this, this morning, 
Um, I want to just highlight the words of Jesus to us this morning. Hallelujah. He is the true vine. Amen. In other words, He's the source, He's the foundation uh, of our faith this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And apart from Him, we cannot do anything. Amen. Uh, we are the branches. Now, branch is something that is connected uh, to a main source. And Jesus is that main source. Amen. That gives sustenance, life to the very branches itself. In other words, a branch can look good. Um, but out of itself, it cannot sustain itself. It may be able, when it's cut off, sustain it for itself for a while, but it is not the purpose of the branch, is to feed from the vine. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so Jesus is that vine. And he, he, he makes it clear to the church, uh, the role of the vine and the role of, or the position of the vine and the position of the branches. Amen. So so it's all about fruit bearing. Amen. And uh, Jesus have to mention his father who is the gardener. The one that tends to the branches. Hallelujah. Amen. There's uh, not much focus on the vine. But there's a lot of focus on the branches and the fruit that the branches need to bear. Hallelujah. It makes me think about an environment that a vineyard uh, needs to thrive in. The environment is normally a harsh, uh, hot, rocky uh, terrain. That's where most vineyards uh, are planted. Uh, sometimes in, in valleys, in the middle of bergs, uh, they have to endure the berg winds, the heat. Amen. Uh, to produce the fruits, uh, much anticipated fruits that it needs to bear. Hallelujah. So then the role of the gardener is there to, to cut off dead branches. Branches that does not bear fruit. The, garden, the gardener's purpose is there to cut or to get rid of those branches. Amen. Uh, so that the, the vine cannot carry additional weight. Uh, the other function of the gardener is there to prune the, 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 the existing branches that are, are bearing fruit uh, so that they can even bear ma more or much fruit this morning. Hallelujah. So, so that is where we find ourselves this morning. Amen. Uh, in that context. Amen. Uh, even when, when the fruit uh, has been harvested. Uh, uh, grapes go through a process of crushing uh, besides now for it being consumed as is it needs to to be crushed so that uh, it can it can release the juice grape juice that that we need uh, another process of, of of grape juice if you let it stand longer it becomes a, into into wine now some sellers are uh, store up wine for years um, and some wines become choice wines because of the process that they have to to go through other uh, products from from grapes is raisins raisins also have to endure uh, heat um, if you go to places where you see where 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 they they uh, produce raisins it's big cement blocks where those raisins or, or grapes are being thrown at and they have to endure the sun until the, the, the final products uh, will be raisins. And vinegar is also a product from, uh, that has been extracted from grapes. So, so everything's got to do with a process, harsh process. And uh, if, you, if you squeeze those grapes to get the juice... Amen. And so we also have to go through a process as believers. Amen. While we are connected to the vine. Sometimes we cry. We say, but Lord, we are connected to you. Why the pain? Why the pruning process? That's why Jesus said, listen, my job is just to sustain you. But my father is the gardener. 
Amen. My father has to make sure. In other words, my father has to tend to you, prune you. Amen. And uh, I know it's, it's, it's sometimes if we go through life, the pruning processes of life, uh, it's not it's not easy. But uh, the, the, the process is good so that we can bear much fruit because the father wants us to bear much fruit. Hallelujah. The Lord himself uh, wants us uh, as the body of Christ. Amen. To bear much fruit this morning. Hallelujah. So uh, there's a process, uh, the process of salvation, the process of spiritual growth, uh, the process of becoming mature in the things of God. And I know it's not easy. The Lord take us through tests. Um, he allows us to have trials in our lives uh, and to go through tribulations. Hallelujah. So that is our process of pruning the harsh terrains that we have to go through so that at the end, uh, uh, the Bible also says that we are uh, the aroma, aroma of Christ. Amen. To the to the world. Amen. So whatever we need to produce uh, on behalf of Christ, on behalf of the Father, needs to be this effective uh, uh, fruit bearing uh, product hallelujah amen that is why uh, when Paul says that we are an open letter to the world whatever the world reads in us needs to be the final product they need to see that uh, things are possible for those who believe they need to see that uh, the promises of God uh, are yea and amen hallelujah they need to see that uh, this Christian life uh, is possible amen it's worth living and uh, they must see the love of God in the midst of our trials, the midst of the pruning, in the, in the midst, hallelujah, of the gardener coming to attend to us. Amen. They still need to see Christ within us. Hallelujah. Amen. So, beloveds, um, the word to you, uh, the word to me this morning, hallelujah, is for us to remain in him. Don't pull yourself or unplug yourself from the grace of God. Hallelujah. Many Christians are giving up. Uh, many believers say that, uh, listen, uh, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't bear. Amen. The Bible says that the Lord will not give you uh, that that you cannot bear this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, the, the key in this is obedience. Hallelujah. We need to be obedient to the words. Of Christ, hallelujah. If we stay connected to him, he will carry us, hallelujah. The branch does not carry itself. Uh, what carries the branches is the vine, them being connected to the vine. Hallelujah. And this morning we need to hear, we need to hear from God, hallelujah. Amen. Um, especially the young shoots, the young uh, branches, hallelujah. Now it is, it is that season where we see how, uh, the, the young shoots are, are growing. Amen. Out of the vine, out of the branches come new branches. Amen. That wants to carry fruit. Now, now one of the purposes of the, the, the gardener is to give direction to those young shoots those young branches hallelujah because they just grow they just grow sometimes they grow so fast and out of control and the purpose of the gardener is to give direction hallelujah now um sometimes with young people they tend to underestimate the elders or their mentors or their parents hallelujah amen uh, sometimes they underestimate them because they are old or they appear to be old and that their processes is lengthy, long processes. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, young people always want quick things, quick fixes. Uh, in fact, not just the young people, but uh, the world these days, people in the world these days, they want quick solutions. Amen. And sometimes as uh, in, in the processes, hallelujah, of life, uh, there are things that stands uh, that has withstood the test of time. 
And those are the, the principles or the processes that applies to everyone. Whether you're in the corporate, whether you're the normal person, wherever you are, there are processes that stands. Amen. There are certain fundamentals that we cannot change. Amen. Uh, doesn't matter how much we experiment, how much research goes into certain things, but if it's, if it's uh, not principled, it will not stand. Hallelujah. Amen. And then uh, coming back to the, to the vineyard, the, the, the branches, the branches must be directed. And this morning, one of my purposes in ministering to you, the word of God is to bring you back to your senses, to bring you back to say, listen, uh, you are under authority. If you want to be in authority, you must be willing to be under authority. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why we cannot grow, uh, um, get cross with the gardener because he's pruning us. Uh, the youngsters cannot get cross to the elderly because of the elderly wanting to guide them in the right path. Amen. Uh, your mentors, your parents, the elderly has so much wisdom to share. Amen. But it will take a process. Amen. Uh, what the elders do, they just take you back to basics. Hallelujah. Amen. So that you can grow in the right direction. Uh, the worst thing to be is for a branch not to grow in the right direction. Amen. Uh, there's certain direction that you have so, so that you can receive sun, the sun. Hallelujah. That can sustain you so that you can be in a position uh, to bear much fruit, the Bible says. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and uh, that is the focus of, of, of this scripture this morning. Amen. And Christ says, listen, without me, you cannot do anything. So many Christians want to do things out of themselves, out of their own willpower, strength, wisdom. Uh, it doesn't matter how much studies, degrees you got behind your name. Amen. But if you're not willing to go through a process uh, of principles, morals, amen, it will not help you. Hallelujah. As fast as you grow, you'll just tumble back down. Amen. So, 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 so part of, of this teaching this morning is for us to remain in him and to allow the gardener to do, to do his work within us. Hallelujah. This reminds me of another story in the Bible where Jesus told, told the story about the tree. And when he came, when, when the, the owner came to the tree, there was no fruits. The tree was green. Um, uh, you know, I can imagine that it was most probably the right season. That's why the owner came or the gardener came, you know, just to to take fruits from this tree. But there was no fruit. Uh, and and, and the, the person in charge said, pleaded and he said, listen, give another year. I will tend to this tree. Amen. I will do the necess necessary work and ensure that there will be fruit. Amen. Everything is about bearing fruit results. Amen. And uh, sometimes we, we, we don't have anything to produce. Uh, and many a times it's because we were too hasty. Hallelujah. Amen. But the gardener is there. Let's allow the gardener to do his work in our lives this morning, saints. Amen. Saints of God, uh, Jesus is there. Amen. Uh, he is our, our life, the source of life. Hallelujah. Spiritual life. Uh, in particular this morning. Amen. We we depend so much on Him. Hallelujah. Uh, we are dependent on Him to survive. Uh, if you want to, uh, to be a Christian in these days. Hallelujah. So many false vines. So many false sources that gives false resources. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, many, many people will arise or have arisen in these days that are not Christ. They are not the true vine. And that is why Jesus says that I alone am, I am the true vine. Amen. And without me, you cannot bear any fruit. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, for those of us this morning uh, that loves reading, we love ministers, 
um, we, we've got uh, sometimes prophets, uh, bishops, whoever we, 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 we get resources from. Don't make them uh, your true vine. Hallelujah. Stick to the word. Read the word for yourself. I think we are in a time of one of the, the, the most difficult and worst deceptions. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Jesus says, Amen, that, that you have to remain in Him. Amen. So don't find yourself another source. Just remain in Him today. Hallelujah. And may God richly bless these few words. Amen. Into your spirit. Hallelujah. Remember now, you might find yourself in a very harsh uh, uh, or rough terrain. But know you there for a purpose. Hallelujah. Because that's where grapes grow. That's where God wants his vineyard. Hallelujah. Amen. And while uh, the Lord tarries, may he come and find us bearing fruit. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Let's just pray as we close off the service. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. Lord, this morning, Lord, thank you for being the true vine. Lord, uh, and us just being the branches, Lord. Uh, being blessed in you this morning, O oh God. Father, let us remain in you as, as, as the Lord Jesus uh, has asked, O oh God. Father, let us allow you to do the pruning and the cutting off of dead branches, Lord. Father, thank you so much uh, for, for being part of our lives, part of the journey. And Father, we honor you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, have a wonderful week. May God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, let's endure and let's hope. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen.